Hello, and thank you for joining me on my channel today. More here, and today I'm going to go into the next video for the free-to-play account, low-spend account, and just new account in general, top priority series and playlist. But first, if you have not gotten into the playlist itself, if you have not started from the beginning, then right here, right now, up at the top, there's going to be a link to take you to the first one and get started in the beginning. Digest it in order. It'll give you a better value and better content if you see it in order. But so today, the next episode is going to be about the missions and challenges in general and how to properly do that and what you really should do and how to focus on those. If this is your first time on the channel and you like Raid Shadow Legends and you want more content from the free-to-play account standpoint, then right here, right now, hit that subscribe button that's going to be in the bottom corner of the video. There's a little button right there. Hit it, smash it, join the group, and we'll get moving with more content for everybody. Okay, so let's get into this. The missions and the challenges. This is something that personally I actually struggle with. I struggle with remembering about them, with doing them in general, and just focusing on what I need to do for them. The missions. Sorry, the challenges. Let's do the challenges first here. There are some decently good rewards if you can do them and if you actually complete them. Right here, I'm on part 5 of 5 for the cha champion challenge. I get a legendary tome. Legendary tomes are gold and they're hard to come by in this game. So you need to be doing what you can to get those legendary tomes. Right here, I need two more to accomplish it. Upgrade a spirit champion to rank six and upgrade a force champion to rank six. My next goal is actually to upgrade my war chief to rank six. So I'm going to end up accomplishing that task. And that's going to happen pretty soon, hopefully during this training event. The next one is the artifact challenges. Now, these are something that when you forget to keep a track of them and keep going on them, you have to go back and waste energy to accomplish them, which is where I am actually at right now. This is not something I recommend you do. I recommend you keep them in your mind. It doesn't have to be in the forefront. It doesn't have to be a top priority, but keep remembering about them. So when you will come across the stages that require you to do something in them, while you're progressing through the campaign, you can tackle them at the same time. So, for example, this one right here, the Artifact Challenges. I'm 9 of 10. I get a Void um, Shard, by the way, which is an awesome little reward. I believe the next one for 10 is actually a Sacred Shard. That's aside the point. The you know, 9.3 here. It's win a 5-star Artifact from clearing Stage 2 of the Karak Castle on Brutal. So, in the Brutal Campaign, you have to get to the Brutal Campaign first, which now the earlier levels of this Artifact had you in Hard and Normal. So, this helps move you through the campaign. That's what they're designed to do. Same thing with the missions. Missions. We'll get into the missions here later on in the video. But the challenges, they're designed to move you through the game and progress you through the campaign and through the game overall. Through the champions, through the artifacts, through the dungeons, through the ramp. That is the general, general? That is the general idea behind the concept of the challenges. It helps you progress your account. That was their intent. That was their idea on the developer side to help move you through the account and through the game. So, 9-3. Win a 5-star artifact by clearing it stage 2. That's really not that hard. You just got to keep running it until you can drop a 5-star. And if I remember right, let's go check real quick what the drops are. I'm pretty sure it's 3 to 5 stars. Here's the croquettes. The very first one, life. Yeah, drops a 3 to a 5 star artifact. You're going to get a helmet out of it. So it's gear that can be useful and can be helpful for you. Especially if you're just getting to Brutal. If you're just getting to Brutal and you're clearing the um, this section, the first part, for the first time, then take your time to stop at Stage 2 and run it until you get a 5 star. It doesn't matter which 5 star you get. You just have to get a 5 star. And that's the critical point part there is it doesn't matter what you get is as long as you get a five star because earlier some of the lower stages of the artifact challenge some of the lower parts wasn't just get a three star four star or five star item it was get to get something with a specific stat on it for example one of them was to get a crit rate percent sorry yeah a crit rate percent glove if you remember right or it was an attack percent glove one of the two but you had to get that specific stat at the top of that actual item. Now remember, the gloves, the chest, and the boots, they have a variety of stats they can give you. 
We'll go further in the depth into another video about those, but not today. They'll actually end up being a link put up there in the corner so you can guys can take you to it whenever you're ready to actually do that. But stay here and let's get through the actual series of the priorities because priorities for your account are the most important part to progress your account. These help. The priorities, if you can keep them mindful in your mind, they will help even more for to progress your account. So if you can remember that these challenges as you're going through your stages of the game, they will be beneficial. They will be helpful for you. Now, I believe right now all my rewards are actually silver for at the moment, which is all right for me. But there's some times where you will get uh, experience boost banners. There's sometimes you'll get uh, not shards, but you'll get energy for some of these rewards as you complete these challenges these uh yeah these challenges and different parts of the challenge you can see here my dungeons part five of five i need to clear level stage 13 of the fire knights i haven't done it i'm on stage 12 i can do 12 i cannot do 13 just a little bit short i am not too worried about pushing it these you do not need to push it they will come with time but you do have to remember that they're there so you can go do them specifically because you have to go to specific places in the game to be able to accomplish them. But as you progress your account, your challenges, sorry, your champions will become better. Your teams will become more cohesive and more synergetic. And then therefore, just these stages will end up just falling into place. So I, it's what I'm looking at for the Fire Knights. Eventually, I know my champions will grow up a little bit more and I'll be able to accomplish it. Or I'll get a new champion that will fit into the team better and be able to accomplish the stage and the Fire Knights a little more efficiently so I can actually pull off stage 13. But right now, I can't do it, which is okay. But like I said, be mindful of what you need and your requirements are for these stages and for these pieces because you do get good rewards. Part 5 of 5, I get a legendary, sorry, a sacred shard once I complete it. Sacred shards are almost as hard to come by as legendary art tomes. Actually, I think they're a little more hard to come by. They do come by, they're hard to come by, but you do get a good percentage for a chance to get a legendary, the best percentage in the game, a 6% pull. Doesn't sound like a lot, it is a little bit, but think about it, it's a chance for six legendaries out of every 100 shards. I don't know if you'll ever get 100 sacred shards unless you actually drop money on this game. That's up to you, I'm not gonna do it because I'm free to play. All right, the arena. Let's see what the the are here in the arena. I'm on part three of three. I need to get a legendary tome again. Now look though, I have to reach gold one. I have to get ten arena battles in a row and gold one or higher. Win ten arena defenses, fifty gold medals. Staying tier, stay in gold tier for two ranking periods. Upgrade my great hall bonuses to level five. Three of them to level five. So. There's some stuff you have to do. I have not been working on my arena very hard, so my arena is only silver three. I still have a couple stages to go. I still have more work to do. This part is not going to get finished anytime soon for me. But again, that's okay with me because my stuff will progress. My account will progress doing other parts and other priorities and focus on other priorities for me. And all this stuff will just fall into place. Okay, your missions. Your missions are also important, just like your challenges. They are there to help progress you through the game. But you keep the priorities in mind to progress even more efficiently. These help give you free rewards as you go. But again, you need to remember about them because some of them will have you do things in certain keeps for potions and require and acquire certain amount of potions from certain stage levels. And you also need to be mindful about the requirements for it as well because some of them have you do it on auto. Some of you have you just do it randomly, one stage or higher. Some have you on a specific stage. So just be mindful of the requirements of them and when you do it. But they help you progress. So you need to focus on remembering what they are so you can do them when you have the chance to do them because those potions will also work later on for you. So it does not hurt to put some effort and some energy into those keeps and dungeons when they require it or when they're asking it of you. So here, my missions. Right now, currently, I send a champion to level five of Ascension. I am not too focused on forcing that to happen, but I know it's going to happen on when it, on its own accord. For example, I want to get my War Chief up to six. He's already at five, but he's five star Ascension. After him, I'm probably gonna work on Vala to get Vala up to five star at least, because she's currently four. Excuse me, and then get her up to actually six star from that. When I do that, she'll be ascended. I'll ascend her, and then boom, I'll pop this and I'll get this done. 
But in the end, you want to progress. There's a lot of missions, and it will take you through a lot of the game. You can see there's a lot here to do. Don't be worried about it. Don't be scared about it. Do not ignore it. Work on it. I recommend, if you haven't already, though, do not fuse Relic Keeper because parts of these missions has you fuse Relic Keeper, has you fuse parts of Relic Keeper, and it is not grandfathered in. Once you've done it, you do not get the credit when it's time for the missions. Some of these things, if you've already done it, you'll get grandfathered in, you get credit for it, so you don't have to do it again, which is pretty cool. Like this one right here, this campaign mission right next to my face. Clear stage seven of the brimstone path on hard. I've already done that because I'm on brutal, right? So once I get to that point, boom, it'll be automatically completed. I can just accept it and get that anxious shard, which is pretty cool. But the fuses are not backwards compatible. So for example, the very last one here, my champion mission, fuse just a car. Just a car is a component for relic keeper. You will not get credit for it if you've already done it. Relic keeper, you can fuse multiple times though. So if you've done it, you will not miss out. You'll just have to go do it again, which means you'll have to get those champions. You have to level up those champions. You'll have to ascend those champions just to do it again. If you haven't, you'll be in the, if you haven't done it, don't do it. Wait till you get there and then do it then. That's my suggestion. But if you don't mind fusing it twice, then by all means, go for it. But focus and remember these missions and work on these missions. Because look at the very bottom here. The last reward you get, there's increments and stages, four levels of it, four tiers of it. You get a sacred shard, you get two legendary tomes, and then you get a legendary champion. Arbiter is a game changer for almost every account that I've heard of when they're able to pull her and get her taken care of and actually get her and acquire her. So you need to want or want to focus on these missions as you progress through your account and progress through these challenges to get Arbiter. So do not ne neglect these missions. Do not neglect those challenges. They help you progress. They give you rewards as you progress. These priorities that you work on and focus on that I'm talking about through all these series, they help you progress more efficiently, more effectively through your account so that you can actually do things better and more efficiently and effectively overall. Everything is interconnected. Everything builds on each other. Once you hit a block wall, rotate to the next priority. Once you get a stall or a block wall on that, rotate to the next priority. Remember though, what's your most, what is the top and most important priority? Your campaign farmer. If you haven't seen that video, there'll be a link right up here above, above me so you can take you to that video. Remember also, if you have not seen the rest of the playlist, get to the playlist. I'll have a link at the end on the right hand of the screen so it'll take you right to the beginning of that playlist again so you can see this playlist of your top priorities for your free-to-play account because your free-to-play account, it's not like the whales. You can't run it like the whales. Do not run it like you see the other content creators and providers running their accounts. You cannot do it. You cannot keep up, but you can still have fun. You can still compete with them to a point if you keep these priorities in mind. Thank you for joining me through the video, you guys. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. That's going to be right there next to me. Join the group. Join the clan. Join the community. Everybody, have a good night. Take care.